don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mark here and welcome back. So today um, I've got my little 8x8 art journal open and um, we've just come back from spending a few days by the coast. Um, we took the dogs up to the North Yorkshire coast, uh, Whitby, Scarborough, that kind of thing. Um, and the dogs had a lovely time running on the beach, playing on the beach, um, chasing each other up and down, running away from the water, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, what's, what's stuck in my mind is the sand. So um, <clears throat> this morning I thought, or I, I got the urge to play with texture. So I've got this um, texture paste, which says true grit, it's fine. It's not gritty gritty, but it does have a little bit of kind of texture in it. So I thought I would play in my journal um, and just play a little bit with the texture. And I'm just gonna work directly onto the page. Now I've got a selection of little spatulas here. Um, and all I'm gonna do is literally just create like background texture with the spatula. Just kind of move it around the page. And I'm just dibbing in with the point and the edge of the spatula just to kind of create a little bit of 3D texture. You can feel or you can hear the grittiness of this stuff. And obviously it does have liquid in it so it is going to start making the, um, the paper buckle a little bit but that's okay, don't mind that. Bring it down a little bit. And I'm just playing with the actual feel of the spatula going through the actual texture paste itself. Just working it onto the page. And you just feel how it, it kind of flows and maneuvers. not really got that much of a, an idea of what the aim is if there is any apart from the fact I just wanted to kind of play with something with a little bit of texture to it today. This may not turn into anything at all but we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Right, so towards the top of the page, I'm smoothing it out a little bit more. of the spatulas out when they seem to be using the one but this one seems to be doing pretty much what I want it to do. I haven't gessoed the page either but I think I don't know whether that's bright enough ah, you, there you go you can pick up a little bit of that kind of texture White on white, not exactly the best, <laughs> the best contrast is it for a video. Just put a little bit of texture up towards the top. And I think that'll do. That will do for that texture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just give it a gentle heat with the heat gun. I'm going to clean off the spatula because it's absolutely a nightmare to clean off if you don't do it pretty much straight away. If you let it dry then you literally have to either sand it off or chisel it off so just 
give it a wipe. That way you can just forget about it, put it back in your pot and forget about it. The amount of times I've come back to mine and found it crusted. There we go, that'll do. Right, so I'll get the heat gun on that and then and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's been about half an hour since I left um, the texture paste to dry. Uh, and I've also given it a good blast with the heat gun, but I also let it dry au naturel um, because, you know, I didn't want to get too many air bubbles in it. Now, obviously, it's buckled a little bit because of the water. So that's why I've got it. That's why I've got the clips on there. So like I was saying, I just wanted to play with texture today. It, it's, I'm not really um, looking for a finished piece. So it's really just a kind of practice play. Um, and that's kind of how I want to approach that today. Um, so what I've done is I've got out some of my um, ink spritzers that I made up using my Brusho um, pigment powders ages ago. Um, some of these are nearly empty now and really need doing, but some of the, the nozzles on these have also gone um, and don't really, they don't really spritz that well, as you can see, but I don't want a lot on there anyway, and um, because um, I'm going to do this. So I've literally just spritzed with a little bit of water just to kind of activate and get them running a bit because I just want to get some colour down in those kind of little nooks and crannies that are going to highlight and show where all that texture is on the page. So um, I've got a selection of colours. That was the sandstone. So I've also got yellow ochre. I'm hoping this is going to not go everywhere. Yeah, some of these, like I said, don't really work all that well. So let's just take a brush and then I'll drop some down onto the page and then we can just add a little bit of water to it. And like I said, just let them mix, do their own thing. So that'll be the yellow ochre. Now, actually on screen, that's looking a bit green. <laughs> but in reality, it's not. So let me just throw in a bit of orange in there, just to, a bit of extra colour. There we go. Just a teeny weeny bit of colour. I'm just trying to find a little paintbrush. So we've got a nice bit of collection of water that's just kind of sitting in that middle part. So let's just see if we can try and manoeuvre it a bit. Okay. That's okay, like that. Let Grab a tissue and let's just wick some of that out. Fill in the gaps. So I'm just wicking a bit of the colour out. There we go. Yeah, kind of like that. I like the texture, I like the, the fact that you've got the highlights from the raised areas. So I'm going to gently just give that a little bit of a blast with the heat gun. Okay, so just before that completely dries, let me come back in with a little bit of that orange. Just, just a little bit there. Just want a bit of bit of colour variation. So 
a little bit down there at the bottom. Now obviously these things dry a lot lighter. They're not as, as intense. But that's okay. And I've got a lemon one here. Let's just see whether or not that's going to allow us to... Now this one... Ah. Now, oh, okay, so let's manoeuvre that down that way. All chaos. Okay, so that's pretty much kind of dried now. And I'm really liking the, the effect of those colours. They're almost kind of watercolory, but not quite. I'm liking the texture, which is cool. And like I said, this is just a practice piece. It's what's the phrase that somebody used the other day? I'm putting in the reps. <laughs> You know, it's just one of those things. So, not every piece, like I've said before, not every piece has to be a finished one and not every piece has to be a masterpiece. Not by a long chalk. You know, it's like when you're learning to drive. You know, when you first start, you've got to learn how a machine manoeuvres, how it handles, and it's the same with your products really. But that kind of like never, never really goes away. Um, when you're doing art or trying to do art, you know, learning how your materials and your colours, different papers, different um, mediums, will react with each other is also a thing which you just a constant learning process and occasionally you know even if you've been using them for years or playing with them for ages and you've never really used them with a particular medium it's always good just to have a play don't you think? Just play, see how it handles, see how it takes the curves, <laughs> or not, as the case may be. Excellent, well, look at that. <laughs> um, yeah. That's turned into something completely different, hasn't it? So even this little dark patch here now looks like almost like a little village in the distance. This could be a little tree. This here is a cloud bank. And this is just fields and hedgerows. And, you know, it's nothing, but it is. <laughs> just let your imagination just look at what you can see and take from it what you want and that is the beauty of playing of experimenting of just allowing the the materials the mediums to react to where they're going to um, obviously if i hadn't have used the texture paste you would never have got any of that beautiful kind of those lines those textures and it would never have sat in the same way. So you just never know what you're going to get, as Forrest Gump once said. <laughs> when, you, when you start playing around with no real aim. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I could go in there with um, a pen and kind of formalise and, and put in some lines as to what I think should be there. But you know what? I'm going to leave it to everybody's imagination to take from that what they want. So that's it. I'm happy with that today. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this little abstract textured art journal page with no real aim. 
If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up because it really does help. Uh, don't forget you can share the video if you wish and also if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. But I must remember to sign and date it just so I can remember when I did it. <laughs> so what is it today? 7th. There we go. <laughs> Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.